Hi there. In this lesson, we'll take a look at user input. We use console log to print messages onto the screen. Console log is used to output a message from the program to the user. If we want to get input from the user back to the program, we use one of the user input functions. Programs are more fun when we can get input from the user. In JavaScript, there are three functions that we can use to get input from a user. Read line, read int, and read float. We use read line to read strings from the user. We use read int to read whole numbers or integers from the user. We use read float to read decimal numbers from the user. Let's dive in and create a program. We start with our main function, which we'll call later on to execute the code. We're going to let the variable name equal read line. This allows the user to input a string of characters and we'll prompt the user with what is your name with a space at the end just to kind of make things look a little nicer. Then we'll print to the console a greeting, hello with a space, and then we're going to use the plus operator to add our name variable. So whatever they enter will go there. And then we'll end it with a comma and nice to meet you, exclamation mark. And let's add a semicolon at the end there. Now let's also prompt the user for another question. We're going to let the variable age equal read integer. So this will allow the user to enter a integer or a whole number. And we'll prompt them with what is your age with a space at the end just to kind of make things look a little nicer. Don't forget your semicolon at the end. And then we'll print to the console using console log your age. And we'll add age as uh, the variable with the plus operators. You are age years old. And then a semicolon at the end. Let's run our code and we get prompted, what is your name? So I type my name in here, select OK. You can also hit Enter. What is your age? I'll put an age in here, select OK. And then it prints all of that to the console. All right, now it's your turn.